Congratulations on purchasing an Aqua One Aquarium. If you've chosen this chapter, you have either an Aqua Style 126, 380, or Aqua Style 510. These models, although different in size, have very similar Aqua One filter systems, so the setup procedures are exactly the same. I'll take you through the complete aquarium setup. Make sure you place the aquarium on a flat surface, strong enough to easily support its weight when filled with water and any decorative rocks. If you set the aquarium up on an uneven surface, it might crack. We recommend an Aqua One cabinet designed just for your aqua style, but these versatile aquariums will also go perfectly on a sturdy, well-supported cabinet or bench top. Now it's time to set up the aquarium. Once you've decided on a location, unwrap the aquarium and place it in your desired position. When you remove the aquarium from the packaging, inspect it and the equipment carefully. If you see any signs of damage from transit, contact the store you purchased it from. Remove the light unit from the aquarium. This will be the last piece you'll need. Next, remove the filter from the top of the aquarium. Remove all the components from the filter Make sure you have a black sponge, a bag of ceramic noodles, a carbon cartridge, a filter grid, a strainer, an intake pipe, a spray bar, an elbow adapter, an elbow and a power head. Wash the ceramic noodles and carbon cartridge to get rid of any excess dust or particles. Just remember, this is the last time that untreated tap water should touch your filter. Once you have the aquarium running, you must always rinse the filter in aquarium water only. Connect the intake pipe to the intake strainer. This will prevent any large object being sucked into the pump, especially your fish. Now connect the intake pipe to the bottom of the power head. Your power head should already be connected to the base of the filter unit. The filter unit should be placed back on top of the tank to the rear. Now we can fill the filter with the important contents to ensure your aquarium stays healthy and clear. Place the filter grid in the bottom of the filter unit and then the ceramic noodles on top of the grid. These noodles are your biological media which will grow healthy bacteria to break down the waste from your fish. Next, place the black sponge and the carbon cartridge with the wool in the filter. The carbon is the chemical filtration which takes many of the pollutants out of the water, leaving it crystal clear. You've now set up the filtration medium, which the water will pass through from the top through each layer back into the tank. Next, connect the spray bar to the end of the elbow and then connect the long section of the elbow to the top of the power head. Make sure the holes in the spray bar are pointing down to the filter medium. The filter completed. Place the light unit on the front of the aquarium and pass the light cord through the channel in the filter. And that's all it takes to have your all-in-one Aqua One Aquarium ready to decorate and fill with water. Take this opportunity to check the position of the aquarium and reassure yourself where you wish to enjoy your Aqua One, as the aquarium becomes very heavy when the water and decorations are added. Start by placing your rinsed gravel at the base of the aquarium. Unless you're planning to grow live plants, it's recommended you keep gravel to a minimum. Gravel is a better aquarium substrate than pebbles because the large pebble size allows excess food to 
waste to fall through the grains and build up on the bottom of the aquarium, then it rots. Gravel is finer and allows excess food and waste to land on the surface, where it can be consumed by scavenging fish, keeping your aquarium much healthier. Now you can gently fill your aquarium with water. When filling the aquarium, it's important that you don't fill the tank too high with water to ensure your aquarium doesn't overflow once you add the fish and the ornaments. Next, place in any plastic plants and ornamental decorations. Aqua One has a massive range of plastic plants and copy corals that add colour and beauty. Aqua One has an extensive range of creative decorations to suit any aquarium style, which are a perfect refuge for your fish and create a lot of interest in your aquarium. Any synthetic ornaments and plants should be rinsed in tap water before putting in the tank. Also available is a large range of Aqua One aquarium backgrounds, which can neaten up and enhance the look of your aquarium. Position your thermometer and heater if required. The thermometer should always be placed at the opposite end of the tank to the heater for the most accurate readings. Next, put in your air stones and connect the air line to the air pump. If you can, try to place your air pump above the water level of the aquarium. If you're placing the pump below the water level of the tank, make sure to use an Aqua One valve. Otherwise, it is possible for water to siphon back down the tube and may damage your pump, which is not covered by the guarantee. Every electrical cord should have a drip loop to stop water running down the cord from the tank into the equipment or electrical power outlet. Remember to add Aqua One water conditioner to your water to remove chlorine, heavy metals and other chemicals which will damage your filter and could harm your fish. Use the directions on the bottle to work out how much water conditioner to add to your water. With water conditioner, it's always better to overdose than to underdose. Next, plug in the heater, air pump and filter power head and switch them on. Close the lid and turn on the light. Before adding the fish, double check each item is working properly. Check the heater light is on if the water is under 25 degrees and the bubbles are coming out of the air stone. For the filtration, observe that water is being passed through the filter smoothly and it's not spraying or leaking out of the tank. Double check that the spray bar is pointing down into the filter. Your aquarium is now ready for a few small fish. However, it's safer to run your aquarium for at least three days before introducing them to your system. Oh, and if you've got a salt water set up, it may take a little longer. So it's best to ask your local Aqua One dealer or grab a copy of the DVD, Your Instructional Marine Aquarium Guide. Take a few minutes to check out the other important chapters. They'll cover maintenance and care of your new aquarium. Enjoy.